those are the calls of the Trinidad piping guan or Pawi, a monotypic New World crassid which is endemic to the Caribbean island of Trinidad. This species is classified as critically endangered and it is considered the second most threatened crassid globally despite its lack of recognition. The Trinidad piping guan is a turkey-like bird which can have black or brown feathers with a purple or brown glossy sheen and a grey crest. The wing feathers are white tipped which causes a mottled pattern on the wing. The face of the bird is light blue and there's a deep or cobalt blue colour on the dewlap and throat. The Pawe are usually seen in small groups or individually and usually when feeding. Their diet consists of fruits, seeds, leaves and flowers of the forest species and some domestic crop species that may have been introduced to their habitat. They no longer exist in the forests of South Trinidad. They no longer um, exist in most of the western northern range. They are confined almost completely to a pockets, uh, one pocket that I know about and probably a few others in the eastern northern range. Because of uh, loss of habitat and habitat fragmentation and just change of the the um, habitat areas over the years. The Powie was declared an environmentally sensitive species and is protected under the Conservation of Wildlife Act. Additionally, the Powie's main home range in the Matura National Park was declared an environmentally sensitive area. In the last census, about what, four or five years ago, there were considered to be about 200 left in the wild. The main threats are the loss of habitation, the forest, deforestation, and the hunting, and I think probably hunting is the most serious threat. It's not in a commercial way, it's just basically with um, an opportunistic catch in most cases. So traditionally, I suppose the Arawaks probably ate them, and now local hunters, local people, villagers and so on will eat them. There have been numerous projects over the years which have offered substantial ecological and socio-economic data on the Pawi and its conservation. International and local bodies have worked together on these projects and there have been more than $100,000 invested into Pawi related projects. These projects bring public awareness to the Pawi for the general public while engaging communities found in the Pawi's range. These projects give the local communities skills which empower them to design plans such as ecotourism efforts to conserve the Powys population, collect data, and generate an income. Ecotourism is a major means of obtaining income from the Powys and for keeping interest in conservation of the Powys. People spend lots of money just to come to Trinidad to see a Powys for 15 minutes. While many people are unaware of the Powy being in Trinidad, people who know consider it to be a national treasure and would like to conserve it. They actually have a very important ecosystem service, and that is that of dispersal. Because they are the largest fruit eating bird in the country, they would be carrying out the service of forest rejuvenation, especially of fruiting trees that have larger fruit or seeds. Powy therefore provide a good habitat for other species that may be more directly useful to humans part of our um, culture in terms of some of the species that we hunt. The intrinsic value of the species is always very important because there may be values that we do not yet understand and we should always try to avoid losing the species before we understand. I think we, we have no right to allow a species, if we can control it, we have no right to allow a species to become extinct. And this is, this is a particular an endemic species. Developing um, sites outside of their natural habitat, um, for example, in breeding programs, may increase the interest. And we can start thinking about more cultural aspects, such as um, having carnival bands and stuff like that. Look at endangered species or in, um, endemic species, and have uh, costumes based around these um, these species. And that can again bring in some money, bring in some income promote awareness and um, also uh, contribute to conservation of the species. The Powys conservation is well worth its money for both its ecological and socio-economic niches. However, before any of these practices are successful, one thing must be done. 
Legislation protecting the Pawi must be in force, and there must be more protection for the Pawi overall. If we cannot act on these recommendations and conservation tactics soon, the Pawi as we know it will be no more.